Uh, do you like my new hair color? <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Gorgeous. Okay. Do you like Do you like my nails? Oh, I love it. Hello. Today, I'd like to welcome back to my channel famous European oboist Natalia Mielnik. You might recall that a few months ago we made a video where I was showing her how to make North American style reads and today she'll be showing me how to make European scrape reads. Hi Ron, it's so great to see you again. I hope you stay healthy and safe for this long time we didn't see. Uh, my American read was playing really well actually oh, and I yeah. hope today you will make uh, also a great European read. Let's start, let's do it. Uh, all people who want to do it with us are really welcome. I will show you step by step how, how I do uh, reads and Ron will try to, to make it. I'll, I'll try and follow <laughs> along. Before we start I have to say a very quick thank you to oboshop.de for supplying the cane that I'm using in this video. I am so thankful that they sent it and it's like exactly perfectly to the specification that Natalia asked for. Check them out in the description below and there's a little coupon code that you can use as well. Which cane did you order, Ron? This is Glotan cane. It is Great. 0.57 millimeters in the middle and it's the Hornagel shape number 40, which is the closest to the Tomas Tomas. shape that you use personally. Yeah, when I start making reads, uh, I always check flexibility because it will show me okay. uh, how much I have to scrape later. So uh, you can do it, always do it on the wet cane. If it's quite flexible, it's good. If it's hard, it will say that uh, you have to scrape a little bit more. If it's totally flexible, uh, it means that be careful with scraping because you can over scrape the reed. So I always take some canes. Let's let's take something uh, in the middle. I order always medium hardness. Uh, so it's something in between. It's not so easy. It's not so hard. I take my my cane, which I know how is the, the flexibility and then we will cut the ends uh, I really okay. recommend you to do it for nine millimeters okay first yeah. time for everything so I've uh, never done anything like this <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah. a nine millimeters you want me to scrape oh god it look like this so if something happened like that just a little bit is an aesthetic thing so it doesn't matter we need that it will be smoother into the end firstly aesthetic secondly it will help with hermeticity when you will make a winding later and also it prevents from uh, cracks here i'm using a knife i don't know if this is like breaking the rules but i feel like that's easier yeah if you like when i want to do it for a half yeah so I do it a little bit that cane will click and then I close it by my fingers and then okay. opening is not so open. If I would make by the knife to the end like that, yeah. yeah later my opening will be too open when, Interesting. when I would cut. Yeah. Can you tell me do you measure this to know where the middle is? Because I don't know. Oh wait, there is a little line, isn't there? It should should there should be a line. I always a see little the tiny line. line. Yeah, 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 I see yeah, it. Yeah. I'm not used to this. Okay, just this much? Yes. I heard just yeah. uh, to hear the click and then yeah. by your fingers. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So now we will do side to side because we want a hermetic grid and we want that both sides will not move during playing. So right. we will round uh, one side, put, take your mandrel, take your thread okay. and then we need to keep the piece of the cane uh, really straight and we need to go up with a thread without using any strongness. Yeah, so we go up. Uh, it could be nice if that will go until the middle of the cane, so not so high here. And then we go down with no using again any strongness because uh, I saw that many oboes which do side to side, they try to be strong in the beginning and then cane is crashing. So and now when I go again to the top. So now you want it a little tighter? Yeah. So now 
when you will see your cane, your, your both sides of the cane uh, will go rounded much more than normal size and we need it. And yep. then uh, I will prepare a wire that, yep. that long. It can be okay. Like five centimeters, 10 centimeters? Five and half millimeter. <laughs> I cut the wire like that, mm -hmm. long. And then I take the mandrel yeah. and I put it here over there mm -hmm. and I make one, two, and then it's like a three. And now we will close it. So uh, make twist and if you will take it away, it will look like that. Yeah, just the wire. Great, show me, beautiful. Just so you get the idea of this little teeny tiny thing. But now remember which side was rounded for me. Okay. That one was. So this side and was the rounded one. Yes. Wow, looks really great. You can show to the camera. That should be, that's really great. We will close the cane and we will put the wire like that. So here is the rounded side with yeah. the rounded side of the wire normal okay. side with a knot this is really important and now when you will put just a little bit wire uh, on the cane pay attention if one side is inside you can move it by your fingers and here about one centimeter under the wire you could see that one side is going inside the second one that it will be like like this yeah, yeah? so that's really interesting because that is very different from North American style reeds where we usually want an overlap on one side and it's the same on both sides of the reed. Here what we're really having is like this rounded side that we've made is gonna fit perfectly into the larger flatter side. Yeah, now you can measure 27 millimeters. Oh look, it's perfect. <laughs> and then I put the, the staple. staple on the mandrel. I use 45 millimeter staples to my Ludwig Frank oboe. This is a Apollon staple. So whole reed uh, for you should be 73 millimeters. For me, it's 72. Keep by two fingers both sides. And now we will gently uh, close the reed. So I pull it and then I twist it. It looks like it is sealing on the sides. Great, it should be totally hermetic now. I put this kind of reeds for my box. I don't close the box, but they need to rest and to dry. So I make a winding on the dry cane. I see a big difference in between doing it right now and with waiting one night. So we'll uh, pretend that we waited a night, but we didn't, so. Let's do it anyway. We will make a winding. As a normal winding with a new thing, which I do because of Ron, uh, I, we will use a beeswax <laughs> thing that I love. And then I also use the mandrel to make a winding. Okay. Uh, I make sure that my reed is totally straight. And also I make sure that it's closed enough. Yeah, so that reed is hermetically closed. I always keep by two fingers. Here one yep. on the side that my reed will not move. And then I do as you, the same. I go up. Okay, so you leave this thing on here, the wire. Yeah, we need to leave the wire. We will it go stays there the forever? Windy. No, no, we will okay. take it off later. So okay. we need to go with a thread under the wire. So when the wire starts, okay. the thread is ends and also the staple ends. So I will show you, if you will go right here uh, with a winding, I will show you another technique of knotting. Uh, Great. So let me know. So it should wind up until the top and then all the way down, yes. just like normal? Yes. I'm so happy that I finally have like something in this process that is like the same as what I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I keep it by my one finger that it will not move and I cut this side of the uh, thread, this pull I keep on my uh, hand, but the side which you have uh, knotted on your desk, 
Uh, okay. We need to cut it. Okay. Yeah. So it should stay like that. Okay. This feels very dangerous. <laughs> this feels <Yeah>. terrifying. <laughs> okay. Okay, great. And now we need to make something like this. Yeah. It okay. looks like. Okay. Like that. A little, a little yeah. loop. Yeah. Make a loop like that. And now we will go with a thread from the spool like this on the so then when you make one round it will stays here on the top yeah like that yeah mm -hmm. great and then we go down on it gotcha yeah and when you want to finish if you want to go directly down you can go if you want to leave some wire you can leave but i cut a little bit like this and then mm -hmm. we will put it this is the piece from the spool we will put oh. it inside this loop here gotcha yeah i needed to leave more more loop like I like this it's inside and then this upper uh, upper thread mm -hmm. we pull it worked yeah <laughs> so the reach should look like that now yeah I think that's what mine looks like great and now I cut this mustache <laughs> I cut off the wire also yeah so I really like to to cut the wire not take it off uh, by this because it's not destroying the cane all right okay i have a blank beautiful <sighs> i love it let's put it to the water just for you oh Chopin. Uh, little Frida Polish. Chopin. i'm proud of you ron that you did this oh, thank you the box with all blanks and they are waiting when i will need a read so if I will need a read in a month, they will wait one month. If I will need a read in a two or three months, I will scrape it in a two or three months. But if I wait longer, they play much better. I do leave blanks overnight as, as we went through in the video of North American style reads. I'm now experimenting. I have some blanks that I made a few months ago and I'm gonna try scraping on them because I've never done that before. So I'm gonna scrape on them and, and then I'll see what it's really like after a few months compared to after a week or compared to just doing it the next day. So. Let me know. <laughs> yes, interesting. I will. This is also different than your scraping because mm -hmm. I uh, change it uh, when I have a hard cane and not flexible. I scrape here in this step 12 millimeters. If I have a flexible and medium hardness, I scrape for 11 millimeters and I always cut for one millimeter. I mark the line when it's 11 like this and we will make by my style. So we will make a big smile like something like a V. So I press the knife to make a shape of my, yeah, like that, of my scraping place. So I can okay. press. This is going to be really unique and different. Okay. Yeah. And if you will make a V shape, yes, nice. And now from this we take all the way to the top this is really important to stop when you will see the lines so the first structure of the cane is shiny the second structure is like a matte not shiny and the third structure are the lines so we need to see these lines this this shape of the bark will give us a really smooth and easy lower tones for later and also the sound will be brilliant now we will cut for one millimeter yeah so uh, we have uh, three steps for now uh, they are easy <laughs> so now um, we will not take anything to the end from the heart we will scrape both sides 
here mm -hmm. and here and we don't want to scrape on the first step here on the corners okay. this area we scraped already uh, in a step before i really recommend you to do for example uh one two three uh, one side one two three second side and then check but this is really important uh, keep the knife really straight don't keep the knife like this let's make four times for each side and then we will check the opening okay because we don't use micrometer so we need to see how the cane is reacting if you will look like this it will show you which side you scrape more for example in mine I scrape much more this side so I know that left side I have to scrape more and we do it until we will see that both sides will close the same and the reed will give us a sound now my cane is much more flexible here yeah and the both sides close quite the same okay <laughs> my, scared my is ready <laughs> Sorry. Should I try this? This is gonna work. Yeah, uh, look how is that. Not yet. Okay, so you have to scrape more. I will try to show you how on the oboe it should be hard, okay? It will be hardness that you will not play a Strauss concerto. <laughs> But the sound is coming. Great! Try it. It's still hot. It's hard work. So. Yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> okay. So uh, actually, the read is playing, right? Is it hard for you? Very hard. Okay, good. The next step is corners. We will keep the knife like this. Yeah. Okay. And the corners, not so much. One, two, three. And the both sides. Okay, first. I think I think mine's okay. Great. <laughs> yeah, Something. great. Something. It's still so, a little bit hard. It's still yeah, hard. Yeah, that's good. That, okay. That's good. Now we will make a triangle on the tip. Yes, so okay. we do quite the same as uh, you did with me, but we yep. need to leave the middle of the tip. We will do this and this. And then okay. if you will make a beautiful triangle, then we will make this a little bit from this area in the middle of okay. the top. I recommend you to do it for a two and a half millimeters. Two and a half, okay. Oh wow, yours is really thin. Yeah. Wow. That should be enough. Try to blow to your reed. Should be easier now. Way easier, yeah. Try it on your oboe. Reed is not finished yet. <laughs> Yeah, Great. I mean, it feels much more comfortable. Yeah. Like, I have to have some lip pressure, but I think it's more common in the European embouchure to have some lip pressure. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have yeah. relaxed everything here, right? When yeah. you play. Well, like, no, the corners, okay. the corners are tight. Ooh. Some reads are done now in this step. Uh, some reads need some extra adjustments. So, uh, for example, I check the lower tones. Let's see, I think my read can be easier but yeah exactly so if the read is a little bit hard you go for the first step but don't scrape the uh, the tip so under the the tip place okay so right now i should be checking the low notes like if it's hard or easy yeah yeah try okay. try to check the low notes <laughs> Yeah, that's not so bad. Okay, staccato, ta -ta 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 -ta, or something like that. If it's easy, it's good. If it's difficult, then we need to scrape a little bit in an, in the middle of the tip. Okay, 
Okay, great. So the staccato yeah. for me, I, I hear that it's comfortable for you to play. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Uh, so for the third register, when you will put the read, you can adjust it under yeah. the... Uh, That's the same for us. Yeah? yeah. Under, under yes. the tip, yeah. Yes. Yeah, my third octave is also difficult, so I have to scrape. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, the third octave is a little bit harder, so I have to, to do it again, but mm, lower tones. In a piano, in a forte. Yeah, if the intonation is okay. And the third octave, I have to, <laughs> I have to do, but uh, also staccato. between now really really great Ron on the European reads bravo congratulations thank you so much for joining me Natalia this has been such a pleasure thank you for me too I had fun with you again I have to say to our followers that Ron and I we make uh, online lessons so if you want to learn American reads uh, how to make them uh, just uh, write DM to Ron and he will show you on the online lessons how to do them uh, if you want to learn how to make European reads uh, write a DM to me and we with Ron make uh, make them all online I think your your students are really happy with with you as a teacher right Ron <laughs> oh thank you so much likewise <laughs> you have like such an amazing connection to your students and it's amazing <laughs> to see their progress yeah thank all you right. so uh, I'm really proud of you uh, if you will make European read for the first time with us you have to send us the photo or maybe put to your story and add us uh, tag us on uh, like obo run and and dot mielnik so uh, we will be really happy to see your all results and make sure that you subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can find Natalia's channel in the description below and you can follow us both on Instagram as well. I hope uh, you enjoy our third video. Uh, comment below if you want more. Maybe if you have some more ideas what we can do together, also comment below. And thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. All right, have a great day.